Lima Roja. Con los pantalones y el rojo, con negro y un peso de 146 libras y un cuarto. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Where's red trimmed in black with both the flag of Mexico and the USA. He weighed it officially 146 and one quarter pound. Por un record igual de siete victorias. Cero derrotas y cinco ganadas por no count. He stands perfect with seven victories, including five big wins. Coming by way of knockout, he is the undefeated native of Santana, California. Here is Alexis Rocha. And one thing that really stands out, Alexis Rocha still 19 years old, while Valenzuela is 31. Hasn't fought because he's a software engineer in El Paso. He has a job for the government, and that's all he can say about it. <laughs> so I am not going to get into details. If somebody says I can't tell you what I do, I work for the government, I'm not asking. But he was 7-0, attended the University of Texas El Paso, the minors and home of the prestigious Sun Bowl. And he got his degree in engineering, he's working. And a few years ago, he started sparring to just stay in shape. People were paying him to come spar, and he's like, you know, if I'm sparring, I might as well get back into the fight. Healthy urge, and here he is taking on Alexis Rocha, which might be a bit too much for him. Beto, it doesn't look like this is going to last long. I don't like the way he reacted the first couple of times he was touched. And not only is he facing a heavy-hitting guy, he's also facing a southpaw. His management didn't exactly do him a lot of favors tonight. He had him fought for three years. He felt, felt good, but Alexis Rocha is a guy, there's not much tape on him because he's 7-0 and five KOs, and his hands are heavy. Valenzuela has a six-year-old daughter, Rocha, brother of 122-pounder Golden Boy fighter Ronnie Rios, who's in his corner tonight. For the first time he's fighting a fighter who is undefeated. But Rocha making the progress, Steve. So he likes fighting Velasco, a lot of people come there. And he knows his levels, he wants to get out of Velasco, because I said, what, you don't want to be the king of Velasco? Said, Not really. I want, to, I want to be on the big stage. Uh, it's like being Crash Davis. There, there comes a point you level off at Triple A and you want to get to the big show. One thing's very immediate. Look at the footwork. Rocha. South Falls, Alexis Rocha. His dad from Ciudad de Mexico. So I'm off from Salitre, Zacatecas. Rocha attended Senior Strip High School in Santa Ana. Busy kid. Rocha is also in charge of watching his 10-year-old brother, Angel. Which his mom goes to work. Rocha's there. Goes runs in the morning, make sure his brother's ready to go to school. Then he goes to the gym. In the afternoon, like, do you go to school? No. Do you work? No. He said, I am 100% committed to being the best in boxing. And you get the sense if he pushes the gas pedal here, he might be able to stop Valens Bela. Valenzuela, from the very beginning of this fight, anything that touches him seems to visibly affect him. Goldemore thinks really highly of Alexis Rocha. He fought on the eve of Canelo and Khan last year in Las Vegas, outside of the T-Mobile Arena. Fought at the Stub Hub Center, so they're moving him around. This isn't a kid who they expect to be in the club scene too long. Keep this in mind, though, he's only 19, though. And that, that's actually something yeah. that, that you should be encouraged by, but we don't know what he's going to be at 21, 24, 27. What I like about him, you know what, I've talked about him wanting to maybe push the gas pedal and push the issue, but he, he certainly fights with a professional poise if you look at him. You said that before. Southpaw, Beth Durant, Steve Kim, and you watching us all over the world. Appreciate you. Left hand from Rocha lands again, landing on the button. Landed a couple good ones in the first round. Continues to find a home for that solid left and that right. Valenzuela hasn't fought in three years. Well, welcome back to the sport, Caesar. It's tough. And in this round, a little variation in terms of his punching. That left hand you spoke of, that was an uppercut right down the middle. And I think Hector Lopez may have asked for a little bit more body work to stabilize some of the movement of Valenzuela. All of Valenzuela's fights have been in Texas. Only one of them wasn't in uh, El Paso. That was his debut in 2009 in Odessa. 
Permian. The look. mojo. You guys got to get the mojo. Permian Panthers. If you want to win, let Booby spin. <laughs> right now, Alexis Rocha trying to put away Cesar Valenzuela. 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 El Paso was born in Ciudad Juarez, right across the border. Como siempre, saludos a nuestro amigo Don José Vitela de Durango, México, que tiene su guitarra listo para cantar. Pero he a los generales de Durango. Watch Alexis Rocha, who's born from Zacatecas, the Southpaw. You do get the sense that Rocha picked it up like his trainer well, Hector said. What I would do right now if I'm him, I would just stick downstairs. Uh, just really make a concerted effort to just dig with the body and see what exactly how Valenzuela reacts. Also, see, you know, Valenzuela get back in the ring, has some ring rust. Also, he's not committed to boxing full time. He has a real job. He's a father of a six-year-old. Where Rocha, all he does is train. Give Valenzuela credit, though. He's been tough. He's been game. Swelling on the right eye of Cesar Juan Valenzuela has been peppered all night long. This is the opening bout, more body work, just like you're asking for Steve from Rocha. Beto, you could really see the damage on the face of Valenzuela. You know, if I'm his corner after this round, if he doesn't show anything significant, I don't think there's any reason to really get this guy beat up any worse than he has to. I would actually think about calling it a day. Uh, he's most likely lost all four rounds. I really don't see this getting any better for him. Game balance right in front of him. Is your golden boy, you see this performance from Alexis, what do you take away from well, three I, minutes right now? I like the fact that he's being extended, fighting at a nice steady pace. You know, I've heard from old matchmakers, you don't know what a kid has in deep water in terms of rounds until they actually get off that stool past round six, seven, and eight. He actually ran into a right hand right there. You know, Valenzuela's been a good opponent in a sense that he's given just enough resistance and he's still Asking for the whip for the jockey. The road to be able to answer what his trainer's looking for. Stiff jab. Bringing up the pace here, Vinny. Here he is, Rocha, the 19 year old. Only twice has he not knocked out an opponent, Rocha. Abraham Ruiz. Last December in India. Of the fighter who kept his distance. Was going to allow himself, and Anthony Woods is seven. Body shot from Rocha. Now the punishment is coming. Zach Young right on top, keeping a close eye. Valenzuela. We're talking about the deep end. He's treading right now. He's looking for that boo. Yeah. Very game fighter. A lot of heart on Valenzuela. As you said in the past, sometimes you got to look out for your own fighter. Velasco Theater, downtown Los Angeles, the LA Fight Club. What a cool scene in Southern California of boxing. Those fans right there who you're looking at, standing room only. You get to buy a ticket, first come, first serve. What better way to see the stars of tomorrow? Oh, good oh, shot from right Rocha. Done a little warrant. His hands are getting heavy, hard to put him up. He's just lunging now. Alexis Rocha, the southpaw. First time in his career, he goes to the eighth round. Those deep waters, looks like he's swimming no, nice. No, he really is, and this is such a valuable experience. You know, veteran matchmakers like Bruce Tramper have told me, Steve, we, first round knockouts you gotta throw out either way. Then oftentimes really? be aberrations, and yeah, could they be a bolt of lightning? And there's been a lot of pros that actually got zapped in the first round, ended up having very good careers. This experience for a young fighter is much more valuable. A young fighter that you mentioned earlier, Virgil Ortiz is watching us right now. Virgil, Grand Prairie, Texas. You're going to see him June 17th at the home of the Cowboys training facility. He's with Joel Diaz in Coachella. And I heard you love Joel oh, Diaz. my guy. Also, Virgil, I would never, ever say that Whataburger is good for you. <laughs> I know you love them. I know they're going to sponsor you, but Whataburger, nah, bro. Also, the Flores sisters watching in Santana, USC, and Chapman Products. Cal State Fullerton alums also. 
They train at the same gym as Alexis Rocha, TKO Boxing. They're enjoying a nice margarita on this Friday night. Oh, another left from Rocha. That one brings him back. Some people, Rocha will say, oh, he went the distance. He didn't look good. We're not, he didn't get the knockout that we've seen in the past. But I think you learn more from a fight no. like this. At the world-class level, these fights are not quick sprints. They're going to be more or less marathons. You're going to have to learn to work your way through. I, I think tonight, Alexis learned something. Sometimes guys are not going to fall over. They don't always read the script. I think Valenzuela, to his credit, has shown an uncommon toughness in there. A very tough undefeated fighter, Cesar Valenzuela. Which he hadn't fought in three years. He's 31. You see some guys like, I want to get back into it. They had that fight, they get punched, like they stay down. No. Body shot. Virgil Ortiz, Hector Tanahata, Joshua Franco, June 17th, ESPN in Texas, June 30th, ESPN. In India, you're gonna have Oscar Negrete, Randy Caballero. A busy summer of boxing for Golden Boy and the sport of boxing. Check out Steve's latest column on UCN Live. It really breaks it all down for you. Summer is heating up. Alexis Rocha probably gonna be back in action really soon. Final seconds of, it's been a one-sided fight, but a good fight, a learning experience tonight for Alexis Rocha as he goes the distance. For Cesar Valenzuela, the first time his career that Alexis goes eight. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, nos vamos a las tarjetas de los jueces y todos de los señores anotaron el mismo 80-72. All three judges have it the same 80 to 72 for your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated. The Santana Califas, Alexis Rocha. Alexis Rocha, the 19-year-old.